Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, up touch to the latest iOS. So it doesn't matter which one you have, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, it's going to be the exact same instructions for all of them. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see this. Your setting option will say software update available. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. Go ahead and go into general, and that's where we're going to check it out. But before we do that, I do want to note, before doing any update, I always recommend making a backup. Now you can do that from up here if you tap on your name or your device's name. From there you can manually make a backup using iCloud or if you don't have any more space, this is what I personally do. I hook it up to my computer, I just make out the backup there because then I don't need iCloud for that and that's technically free. On PC you would use iTunes and on Mac you would use Finder to do that. Anyways, also if you're having any problems, do that as well. Just hook it up to your computer and do the update from there. Anyways, let's move on, go into general. In general, you're gonna tap second option where it says software update. Under software update, you should see this. Now, if it doesn't refresh, you can go into automatic updates, turn it off and on, and then that should refresh everything. Right now, we should see this. Now, this one is important. It's a really small update, but important that you guys do it. Anyways, let's just tap on download and install. I'm gonna ask you for your passcode if you have one, and then some of you might see this message, others might not. I'm gonna go ahead and use my data, but you can just use Wi-Fi. This is just in case. So you can always say, no, I don't wanna use my cell phone data. And that's because some updates are a gig or two gigs or even three gigs big. So you may not want to use your cell phone data for this, but this is just a couple of megabytes. So at first it's gonna download, then it's gonna install. During the installation process, your iPhone will turn off and turn back on. Now it's just gonna do a restart. You're gonna see an Apple logo a loading bar and you're gonna be pretty much done. So right now, again, downloading time does depend on internet speed, so if your internet speed's not the greatest, sure, this could take quite a while. If your internet speed is average, it's just gonna be a couple seconds. And for those of you who don't have any internet, well, you do need internet for this. A lot of people ask me if they need Wi-Fi. Well, Wi-Fi is the best way, but as you guys can see, you can also use your cell phone data, which I don't recommend just because you're gonna end up using a lot of your cell phone data. At this point in time, you can just leave your phone, your iPad, iPod Touch just to be, and it's gonna run the update. Now, I also want to note for those of you who have an iPod Touch, well, not all iPod Touches can actually update to the latest iOS. Only the latest iPod Touch can actually do that. The older generations, they can't. They don't have the hardware that's necessary to run the latest iOS. Now, the same thing goes with older iPhones and older iPads. They cannot be updated to the latest iOS because of their hardware. Once it has downloaded, you're going to see this where it says install now. So we can just tap on install now. It's going to verify the update and we're gonna see the restart. All right, so as mentioned, you would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. You will see that twice. The first time it's gonna go a little bit slow, second time it's gonna go a lot faster, and then you're gonna be done with the update. So here we go, once you're done your update, it should tell you, swipe up, and we are all done with the update. We can also double check just by going to settings, general, soft update, and it should tell us that we're in the latest iOS. So that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.